All right, peace and love to all the saints that are tuning into this video. Um, and basically, this video is going to be about the the parable of stars in the Bible, um, astrology. I don't want to get too much into it, but um, I'm gonna try to make this video as quick as possible. So we start off from the beginning of the Bible, which is the book of Genesis, to see what stars were originally created to do. So as you can see, this is Genesis 1, the creation. And God said, let there be lights in the firmament of the heaven to divide the day from the night. So we see he put lights in the sky to divide the day from the night and let them be for signs so the purpose of the lights in the sky are for signs and for seasons signs and seasons and for days and for year and for years so the purpose is for signs seasons days years right and God made two great lights, the greater light to rule the day, which we know is the sun, the day star or the morning light, the morning light, and the lesser light to rule the night, the moon, right? The night light. <laughs> he made the stars also. So those lights he put in the sky, he put the sun, the moon, and the stars. Remember, their function is for signs, seasons, days, years. And God set them in the firmament of the heaven to give light upon the earth and to rule over the day and over the night and divide the light from the darkness. See, they're supposed to rule over the day and the night and to do what? Divide the light from the darkness. So the purpose and function of the sun, the moon, and stars is to divide the light from the darkness, right? As we can see in Genesis 1 and 3, and God said, let there be light, and there was light. And God saw the light, and it was good, and God divided the light from the darkness. So remember, already the beginning of the creation, he made already light to divide from the darkness. He called the light day. So that's why I said the sun would be the day star, right? Because he called the light day in the beginning. In the darkness, he called night. Remember, he put a, a light in the sky and it's called the night star. So you have the, the day star or the morning star and the night star, the moon, right? So let's get into some of these uh, parables. So to understand what a parable is, we look at the definition. A parable is a comparison, a figure. What's a figure? A likeness of something, a similitude of something. A proverb, check that out. Comparison, figure, parable, proverb, symbolically, right? So this is a likeness of something. So now we're gonna get into some of the parables, some of the likeness that's used in the Bible that stars are used for, right? And I want to start off with, I'm going to start off with 2 Peter 1. I'm going to get straight into it. I'm going to jump straight into it. So 2 Peter 1 and 19. We have also a more word, so like, I'm sorry. We have also a more sure word of prophecy. Whereunto, whereunto ye do dwell, that ye take heed as unto the light. Remember, the light is called day. And he put lights in the sky, the moon, the sun, and the stars, that shineth in a dark place. Remember, he took the light and divided it from the night unto the day dawn. That could be the end of the day. Or the beginning. Watch this. And the day star arise in your hearts. Take that out. So remember, he's making the light shine in a dark place. And the day star arise in your heart. 
So, and let's look at this word hearts. Let's look at this word heart. Heart, hearts, hearts. Mind. Spirit. Check that out. So your heart means your mind in this context. So he lets the light shines in your mind. That's a quick little parable, as we can see in the book of so in Revelation, he says, and I will give him the morning star. What is he saying? What's the morning star? The sun. Parabolically, that's that great light that shines in the day. Remember? There we go. So what he says, I'm going to give him the sun. He means I'm going to give him that great light. Who is that great light? Check this out. See, I'm, I'm showing you the parables and the functions of stars. We're going to get more into it, though. This is James 1 and 17, because we see it throughout the whole scripture. Every good gift, every perfect gift is from above. If you haven't already, check out my other videos. I explain what the Messiah is and the gifts of the spirit. That's 1 Corinthians 12. So every good gift and perfect gift is from above and coming down from the father of lights. Check that out. And with whom is no variableness, neither shadow. What's a shadow? If I take my hand, <laughs> I don't know if you can see a reflection right now. You can kind of. It's over my face. You see what a shadow is? It's a dark figure of my hand. So it's neither shadow of turning. There's no darkness in this light, right? If you see what I'm saying. So the point is the father of light. Symbolically, the thing that we can see would be the sun, right? But parably, the likeness similar to that would be the father. Not saying that the sun is the father, but you look up in the sky and it reminds you. In your mind, see, because your heart, your mind, the father of lights. It's just a parable. It's a likeness. It's not actually the son. Father of lights. Watch this. Hebrews 12 and 9. It also refers to is this. Furthermore, we have we have had fathers of our flesh, right? Your earthly dad, which corrected us and gave them reverence. Shall we not much rather? Be in subjection to the father of spirits. Check that out. There's a father of spirits. That's why I say this parable. It's a parable. It's a father of lights. It's the father of spirits. Come on. Check this out. I'm going to get one more example, and then I'm going to get back to the stars. This, then, is the message which we have heard of him and declared unto you that God is light. And in him is no darkness. So the father is light. And in him is no darkness. So he would be the morning. Symbolically, the day star. The big light that that leads you during the day. If you follow along what I'm saying. For signs and for seasons. Genesis 37 and verse number 9. And he dreamed yet another dream and told it to his brethren and said, Behold, I have dreamed a dream more. And behold, the sun and the moon and the eleven stars made obeisance to me. Let's keep reading. And he told it to his father and to his brethren. And his, uh, his uh, father rebuked him and said it to him, What is this dream that thou hast dreamed? Shall I, look, this is Jacob talking to Joseph. Shall I and thy mother. So parably, the dream that he saw, he saw the moon and the sun. So the sun similar to was his father. And then the moon was his mother. And thy brother indeed came to bow down ourselves to the earth. And his brother envied him. So the 11 stars was his 11 brothers that he seen. So he was already dreaming dreams about it. First he seen a field, then he seen stars. I'm just showing you examples of parables. 
So when they said in Revelation, I will give unto him the day star. He's giving unto him the father of lights. That's life everlasting, correct? But uh, let's get Jude. Let's get Jude. But it's cool. Jude 1 and... I'm going to start here. Four, for there are certain men crept in unawares. So the context of this chapter is men crept in unawares. Raising waves of the sea, foaming out there on shame. It's, it's describing these men as raising waves of the sea, foaming out there on shame. Wandering stars. So these men are described as stars. To whom is reserved the blackness of darkness. Check that out. This is Revelation 1 and 20. I'm going to go to the King James. The mystery of the seven stars which thou sawest in thy right hand and the seven golden candlesticks. The seven stars are the angels of the seven churches. Check that out. So... And what were the stars made for? For signs and for seasons. So he made those parably so you could observe the time. Not observe the times and seasons. But so for the function of the stars were for signs and for seasons. Parably speaking, these are angels. And these angels are referred to as men. So certain men on this earth, earth right now are for signs and for seasons. Like the Messiah was when he came to earth. That's why these wise men astrologers magicians witchcraft knew the times right um, but we don't have to do that to know the times all we do is have all we have to do is keep the faith and commandments